Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and we are in Fishing Planet, and we are in the Halloween event, and this is probably one of my favorite events in Fishing Planet, and I definitely think this is what Call of the Wild is lacking. They really need something like this in the game. As you can see, we have this guy here, we're supposed to give him something. Bring the items to enter the terrifying pumpkin race. Now, what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to try to catch some ghost pike. I really enjoy the ghost pike. Um, also, I have the emerald pike slasher monster thing going on that I was supposed to catch, but I have had no luck catching that at all. And unfortunately... I don't have a boat that we can have rod holders in. So fishing off the dock means we're going to have to hear this music the whole time. And honestly, I have no idea if this music is copyrighted. I'm sure it is, knowing Fishing Planet. So we're just going to hop in the boat here to get away from that. Drop our anchor. And we're going to be using the Farcaster with the slimy crank. Just cast it right out there, and you can see the eyes glowing. Let's see if we can't catch one of these. Ghost Pike, shall we? There we go. There's a hit. Oh, and there's a Ghost Pike. Our first Ghost Pike of the night, guys. Bump up the tension a little bit. Bump up the drag. Pardon me. Did I put the anchor down or not? It doesn't feel like I put the anchor down. I don't think I did. <laughs> These things are big and they are so fun to catch. I didn't put the anchor down. Dang it, I thought I did. Well, that's going to make things tricky. This thing's going to drag us all over the lake here. Pulling out drag. If I have the right gear on me here. I might have needed something a little heavier than what I have. And the game freezes. That's annoying. And that's something apparently that Fishing Planet just decides that they're not going to fix. I forgot how big these things were, man. Oh, God, I'm going to lose it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I lost it. Nope, 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 I still got him. Did not want to lose all that tension. We're close to getting him landed. 
Yeah. There we go. Our first ghost pike. New personal best too. Man, almost 19 and a half pounds, 40 inch. Look at that. Ha <laughs> let's, ha, let's see what, uh, never taken a picture of one of these before, so let's see what this looks like. Oh man. That is pretty cool. Eight hundred and forty cash, two hundred and forty nine XP. We are keeping that. And I didn't where are we? <laughs> okay. So let's start the boat up. Kinda Get back in a better position and definitely drop the anchor this time. Alright guys, so I actually made a couple adjustments here. Um, I changed out my reel because I found out that I actually had the Cyclone 6500 Sport reel on me. Which it has a 48 and a half pound max drag. So that reel should be a lot better. Um, I bumped up the line size. We have like 16 pound mono, which I had 10 pounder braid. 10 pounder braid should be more than mono, but in the game, I, I don't really know how that works. But uh, let's see uh, if we can do any better with this setup. Whoa! Oh. Okay, so I just lost <laughs> a big one. It snapped right off, and that was my last slimy crank as well, so... I'm gonna see if I can't get one with the roach spoon. And if I can't get another one, then I'm gonna head back... And dock it. Dock the boat. And I'll try to get the Pike Slasher Monster. Okay. We got another one here. And I had to keep the drag really low for some reason. I don't understand it because this rod had this real. Whoa! Has a better drag on it. I'm not, I don't think it's the reel that can't handle it. I think it's the actual rod that can't handle it. I have a bigger rod. It's just... It's a shame because I didn't bring it. I forgot how big these were, actually. Come on. Thing just doesn't want to stop pulling drag. Okay, finally. Come on. Oh, and it froze. Great time to freeze, game. I have almost 400 foot of line on this, so... That's good. I wish I could set that drag a little higher. I definitely had the drag set higher on the other reel.
Oh boy. God, why can't I? I don't understand. It's the line that can't take it. It's not the real. Yeah, it's the line. I need a lot stronger line and I just don't have it with me. And unfortunately, the tackle shop here is awful. Try to get it in though. Come on, baby. Incidentally, real pike don't fight this hard. I've caught some pretty big pike and they do tire out fairly easily. Come on. Okay, come on. We'll wear them down. <laughs> I might as well just put the other reel back on because at least I could turn the drag up more than this one. I haven't seen this break water yet, which is odd because the ghost pike usually break water. definitely goes pike. I should have them. Yeah, there we go. How big is this one? Only 13 pounds? Wait a minute. I gotta relook at this reel because this reel said it had a 45 pound drag. We will keep that. Max drag, 48.5 pounds. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. This has a max drag of 11. And this has a max drag of 8. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I don't understand why this is having such a hard time. It's got to be the line. It has to be the line. The line just can't handle it. So, I guess we'll put the attorney back on. And we'll leave it the way it is and let's see let's see what happens. Probably won't get another one out here.
maybe try to get one more and then we'll go back to the shore and we'll try to get the pike slasher monster Okay, so because I'm recording this at night, um, I forgot that when it goes one minute over midnight, the in-game day actually changes, so now I'm in like a uh, horrible fishing time. We're not at the peak anymore, so I am not going to be trying for the Pike Slasher anymore. Um, I'm starting to think that it's a real lost cause anyway. I've been at it for a couple days now, and I can't get this thing to save my life. And, uh, it's a little frustrating. <laughs> I will say it's a little frustrating. There we go. So, I didn't want to end the video without getting at least one more fish, so... I switched to the Jig Winner with the Narrow Spoon, because I figured we could at least get a Walleye. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any more Ghost Pike, and it definitely doesn't look like I'm going to be getting the Emerald Pike Slasher Monster today. Um, if I do happen to get it, I will record it and try to get it in a video. Oh, we got a Trophy Walleye. That is a pretty good way to end it on, I feel. 4.4 pounds, 380 cash, 22.8 inches, almost 23 inches. Not too bad. Let's take a look at that. We will definitely keep that, add that to our money. And that is where we're going to end this video for tonight, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy catching those ghost pike. What I may do is... Um, go back home and get some bigger gear for those and I guess try to get the Pike Slasher monster again um, it's a little discouraging I will admit because there's a lot there's a lot of other monster fish in other lakes and if they're all this hard to get I just don't see how you would get them um, in time I believe there's only nine days left in in the event and I've been trying to get this uh, this Pike Slasher monster for like maybe two or three days now with absolutely no luck. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. As always, I thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.